Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a Switch themed video and for a while I wanted to talk about my personal games that I feel like are incredibly underrated and that are not talk talked about enough and I don't see enough people playing and this is, again this is going to be um, a little section that's quite personal to me so obviously yeah there might be some games on here which you think i should replay so feel free to suggest those in the comments down below for me but yeah but these are quite personal just to the genre of games that i mainly play which are kind of like jrpgs and like that kind of uh s selection of games and again i mean some people might deem these games as not necessarily overrated but just kind of like generically talked about and anyway that's a very personal thing as well but yes with that being said, I am just going to get straight into it. I'm sorry, I think I sound like I have a bit of a cold, which I think I might do actually. So I apologise if I sound a bit nasally or a bit uh, gross today. But yes, the first game going off my, my little pile down here is AI Somnium Files. Oh my god. Um, I first watched a playthrough of this game at the beginning of last year. And a sequel for this has just been announced. So there is no excuse. You should play this. And then, and then pre-order the sequel, which I'm very excited about. Uh, this, how can I describe it? Uh, firstly, is it rated 18 a game? And that's just because there is some kind of violent scenes in it and stuff. And basically, it's very kind of like crime themed, but also JRPG themed. The voice acting is incredible. I love the characters so much. Um, yeah, I don't want to say too much about it without spoiling it, but yeah, if you're into your kind of like mystery crime games, but you like the anime theme, voice acting, kind of like generic game play of JR JRPGs, then I would definitely pick this up. You kind of like solve puzzles in like a dreamlike world. So again, if you're into like puzzle solving, solving and all that sort of stuff, then you like honestly like you can't tell it from the cover, but just it's so honestly it's so good and. It's definitely one of my favourite Switch games and I'm probably going to replay this before the sequel comes out uh, next spring, I, I believe it is. The next game I have, or this is like a series of games, but the newest one came out, which is just the whole Mystery Dungeon series. I don't think, maybe this has changed now since Rescue Team DX has come out last year, but like for me personally, the Mystery Dungeon series, besides the main Pokemon kind of like mainline games, are like my favourite Pokemon games ever. I played them since the very beginning, so since Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team on the Game Boy. My personal favourites are Explorers of Time and Darkness on the DS and Explorers of Sky, and I'm so hoping we're going to get a remake of those on the Switch because they definitely deserve it. But yeah, but basically, the premise of every Mystery Dungeon game is that you somehow wake up in the pokemon world you've been turned into a pokemon you don't know why every single game is sort of like a bit of a, of a different reason and then through kind of like some kind of guild or something or through making other po pokemon friends you form kind of like a rescue team and then you basically go explore dungeons completing missions and obviously completing the storyline and it's just there's just something so enchanting about it and literally Every single Mystery Dungeon game has not failed to make me cry at the end of it, trust me. You will bore your eyes out at the end of this, like, you wouldn't think it, but this stuff is heart-wrenching and, I don't know, for a Pokemon game I think that's something, because every sort of Pokemon RPG has the same sort of generic storyline, but the Mystery Dungeon ones are really special, especially it's just cool being able to play in an actual Pokemon as a Pokemon instead of just as a trainer who has po po Pokemon. And also just the whole dungeon crawling aspect is really fun as well. If you're into that, then just trust me, you'll just adore this game. Like, there are some people who think, who obviously, you know, aren't really into that sort of side of gameplay and they like games more for gameplay and not story. So, you know, if that's you, then yeah, you may find the dungeon crawling aspect boring or whatever, but for me, a game is a lot more than that. So this, yeah, this is always going to be up up there for me. The next game is one that literally saved me as Demon during the pandemic and that is 51 World War Games. This came out last summer and my god like it's just I don't know basically we have become addicted to the pool on this. There is obviously 51 different kinds of games. There's card games, there's pool, there's connect four, there's like just 
darts so like there's just you know every kind of sort of generic game you could think of it's on here and not only can you play two player we, we each have a copy now he got me my own copy when I was in hospital so we could still play pool online together which we did a lot um several times a week which really helped it was really nice just being able to still play with this him even though when I was all the way up in York and we'll normally just sit and like play this together on the front room and stuff and we also take this one when we go to Wales this is a really nice one just to like chill out with I don't know it's just it's sometimes you don't want to get into a super heavy story or game and sometimes the two players you're like I don't know what you want to play and we're just like Paul just have a few a few games with Paul and it's just nice and relaxed especially in the evenings if like you're tired and stuff and like we've always kind of like we've always liked Paul um, but trust me since playing this we've just become very ad addicted to it and honestly if you're just after a simple game just to play with friends this is definitely worth the buy. The next one I have is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Now this was originally released for the Wii U like good five years ago or something now and I was so happy when it got a re-release for the Switch and port. Like if you're in, if you just love Toad and you love like puzzle games like it's just it's just so cute and fun and wholesome and I really love the style of like the cube worlds if you played it you'll, you'll know what I mean I do a terrible job of explaining games but like, so I'm so sorry I'll probably insert like some trailer footage of each game because I just suck at explaining them but um yeah they're just like these cube worlds and you just have to use Toad and follow him about to solve the puzzles to get the like diamonds that that you collect and just make your way through the levels and then it's also got like Toadette in it as well I love Toadette she like needs like her own game entirely and she also needs to come, come to Smash but yeah I just love Toad and just yeah his little cute voices and it's surprisingly challenging actually it's actually quite hard and the Switch one has courses from Odyssey so that's a cool little added bonus as well so yeah if you like your Mario games and this is definitely worth checking out another one I have is Layton's Mystery Journal Catch Royale and the Millionaire's Conspiracy and this is the deluxe edition for Switch but this is also on 3DS and I have that as well my friend kindly got this on me on Switch 2 which I was considering buying for a while but I was like I have it on 3DS I don't I don't need it for Switch 2 but I did if you are a Professor Layton fan then I mean I feel like most Professor Layton fans will probably have played this but even if you're not and you're a puzzle fan this is definitely worth it like the thing I love about P Professor Layton is the whole very sort of like London theme-esque of it it's very British themed um, I just love the style I love the art style I love like the, the voice acting and the characters this is obviously not Layton in it but it has Cat Catriel and yeah the puzzles like Layton puzzles are like no other they're honestly so good they're such a good variation of kinds of puzzles this isn't one like long story this has like lots of mini stories in it and you just sort of make your way through them which I think is quite nice um, so it's a nice game just to pick up and play as you go because you can like come back to it and it'll give you like a little a little summary of where you left off which is also always really handy because I hate that when you're playing like an RPG or any game and you're like you come back to it a week later and you're like I don't know where I left I've completely forgotten what's happened so that's a really nice feature and yeah and on the switch ones there's like daily puzzles that you can download and stuff which is really cool they used to do that on the ds ones as well which is really nice so yeah if you're into your puzzle games i highly recommend this and the last one i have oh i actually got one one other one is this is quite new but the whole series um warioware um so yeah i think i'm hoping warioware might gain some popularity now since the switch release because i think the first week of sales did quite good but WarioWare is basically a game full of mini games featuring the WarioWare kind of like characters. There's kind of like a whole world of characters. My favourites are Ashley and Mona. And this has like a little storyline in it, which is really cute, which I've completed now. But I don't know, there's just something fun about it. There are different kind of modes where you can play. There's like often different sort of ways to play the mini games. In Switch one, it's you're I'm trying to think how to explain it but all the different characters have like different mechanics and that in interacts with the games in like a different way you'll see what I mean if you play it but it's just really fun again it's a nice game just to pick up and play for a bit and 
for me i have terrible concentration so this is a game that really keeps me very like focused which i kind of need so this and like rhythm games um yeah are oh, really really good for my brain and yeah it just all keeps you on your toes and the, the mini games are really fun i'm surprised that they keep thinking of new ones to add in to be honest and if you want more of WarioWare I really recommend there's WarioWare Gold on the 3DS my favorite personal one is WarioWare Touched and DIY on the DS DIY you can actually like make your own mini games I don't know why this game isn't talked talked about more but it's so cool I had so much fun when I was younger playing that but yeah I could write about this game all day but yes if you haven't check out the WarioWare series and the last game that I'm going to feature for this series for now I'm you know could do a part two for this if you would like it because I'm sure there are more games that I could find that I don't think I talked about enough but yes it's, it's one that's on my, on my switch and I also have a low battery so let's hope it doesn't die and that is the Hatsune Miku Project Diva series now I've played this it's mostly well known from the PS4 and like the PS Vita versions. I literally own every single one in the series. Um, and recently it got released for Switch. Um, I actually ended up buying the Japanese version last year because I was too impatient to wait for the uh, European version. But I might buy the European version because I want to get the bundle because you can get like extra downloads and stuff and extra new songs. But again, if you're a person who really struggles with concentration and stuff, rhythm games are just like, we can see see that now rhythm games are just honestly so good and if you're like a bit of a weeb like me then Hasun miku and that whole vo vocaloid world it's just really fun and interesting and yeah i personally really love the songs that are on it again if you're not really into vocaloid stuff you would like this game but um trust me Hatsune miku is just yeah this, this is just a game that I can go back to time and time again. I really like playing it on train journeys, I would. Um, often like put headphones in, it's a really good thing just to sort of zone out with. So yeah, if you're into rhythm games and you haven't played Hatsune Miku, then please do, it's so good. So yes, I think that about is about it for some of my favorite underrated video games for Switch. I might do, as I said, another version or like a 3DS version or a DS version. So if you would like that, please tell me in the comments down below. Other than that, I hope you are all doing well and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.